Is one of your goals this year to exercise more, to work on your mindset, to become a better version of you every single day? Well, in this video, Miss Sheila, a personal trainer at 71, is gonna help you learn how to get fit for life and create more of a lifestyle instead of a New Year's goal. So being fit over 50 does not mean that you have to spend three and four hours at the gym. It does not even mean that you have to work out an hour every single day. But just to get your body moving and making your life non-sedentary is what we need as we age. So today, guys, we're going to be talking to Miss Sheila Agnew. We're going to be talking about how to create a lifestyle of fitness over 50. And she's going to teach us the easiest way that you can get started. So let's take a look at the video. So today, I am so excited. I've been watching this woman online for about a little over a year now <laughs> when I first started Go Gravy Chic um, in June of 2021. So I want to say welcome to the platform, Sheila. Welcome to the Salon Chat. It is a pleasure having you here. And I'm and so thank excited. You. Yes, I'm so excited. And I found out that she's originally from Chicago, which was yeah, a very Chi -Town. pleasant, yeah, Chi Town, a pleasant surprise. So we're going to get started with Miss Sheila. And Sheila, I just want to know um, if you can just give us your age. And um, of course, we already know where you're from and what you did for a living. You know, well, because I know I read something that said you never retired. I mm -hmm. read that earlier. So just that tell us. That too. Right, exactly. <laughs> just tell us a little bit about what you've done in your lifetime up till now. Well, first of all, I'm 71. And... Um, I live in Atlanta now, even though I'm from Chicago. And I did, um, before, what I do now is a, a personal trainer, senior fitness specialist, women's fitness specialist, and I do corrective exercise. And prior to that, I actually was in the event industry for over 30, 35 years. I started out with a retail party supply store on the south side of Chicago. Then I moved into event balloon and event decorating. I was one of the premier balloon decorators in Chicago. And then it just kept led, leading me into other things. I eventually became an event planner, planning other people's events, planning my own trade shows and workshops. And uh, one day I just got burned out with that. I lived in Columbus, Ohio for 10 years. And I was inspired by a, not a workshop, but an expo that I did with a part business partner. And women were you know talking about well am i too old or do you think this and you know the questions and i was inspired to write a book mm -hmm. so i wrote a book called all about the vets veterans of life women okay. with long life experiences and uh it was really about four women over 40 what we feel what we need some of the things we wanted to hear and from there i just really got into motivating and inspiring women and some men but women on fitness and health and just life lifestyle So tell us a little bit about your um, your gray hair journey because we're going to get into the fitness in a, in a few more minutes. Okay. Well, actually, let me just say, I really wouldn't say my gray hair is the journey uh -huh. <laughs> because uh -huh. I have had this gray hair. I started graying <laughs> when I was 20. I never colored my hair. Wow. Uh, of course, it didn't look like this, mm -hmm. but I never colored my hair. Uh, I just went with the flow because I actually liked it. It came mm -hmm. in really fine, really thin, spread, uh, really thin, spread it throughout my hair. 
And people actually thought I dyed it like that. Mm -hmm. I guess you could get the little strips and yeah. things. <laughs> and people actually thought I dyed it like that, but I didn't. And the other thing is, it was a conversation piece. I actually got a lot of action with the guys with that gray hair. Is that really <laughs> your hair? You know? <laughs> so that was like the, I said, well, if it don't bother me, I'm right. not bothered. <laughs> so I never uh, grayed it. I never felt intimidated. There were some people that said, oh, you should color your hair and everything. And I just, it just never bothered me. So I never bothered it. Mm -hmm. So it, it was times when I've gone and people say, oh, you're bold. I'm like, bold? Yeah. From, uh, you wearing your gray hair? I'm like, this was in California. I'm like, girl, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> I said, the Midwest, we not all that crazy about having gray hair. Mm -hmm. But so uh, what really I like about it is that I always said, okay, I can't do gray and thin and long. So when mm -hmm. my hair started thinning, mm -hmm. I cut it several years ago, probably about nine years ago, and I'm loving it short. Yeah, it looks so great it's, on it's, you. It looks yeah. good. Yeah. Thank I you. It. It's just yeah. me. I just I say that's how I feel about trademark. mine. Trademark. You yeah, really? I this, oh yeah. my goodness. I say the same thing about my pixie because I, sometimes I'm like, I'm going to grow my hair and I see all these big bushy natural heads of hair with gray hair. And I'm like, I'm going to grow my hair out. And as soon as I get about an inch longer than it usually is, I'm cutting mm -hmm. it right back off because it's just, I'm like, it's just easy. It's like, I call it yeah. shower ready hair. I yeah, get out of the shower yeah. and I can go. And yeah. I don't have to be worried if I'm going on a vacation, get my hair wet, or if I go mm -hmm. to the spa, you know, they can rub in my head without messing it up. Right. So, you know, so it's, it's, a, it's freedom. But I'm happy to see that uh, people are now embracing the gray uh, because I was up there by myself for a long time. <laughs> so, so I'm really happy to see that people are uh, embracing yeah. it and going through that journey. And I'm telling you, it's a lot of beautiful sisters and it women sure out here with that gray hair, long, short, weed, yeah, they, whatever. They, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Are, we're doing it out here. We're doing it. We came long after you, but. <laughs> <laughs> we had to, and then we had the to men catch up. Are, yeah, oh, yeah, and then yeah. the men are embracing it too. Right. You know, so uh, I think that's a beautiful thing too. You know. Yeah. But, uh, and now I'm I'm happy that uh, we see gray hair women in commercials and you know just everywhere now. You know, it's just a beautiful thing. Even the young women are trying to be great. But that, if you want to call it a journey, that's that's where I am. I've always been great. Okay. Cool. I read that you've always been into fitness, you know, early on in your life. How did you actually get into fitness and what encouraged you to get into fitness for yourself first? Well, I started early. I, I really started thinking about fitness maybe when I was in my late 30s, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe 40. And I was, not, I was active before that, but I was never active like in high school and all that. Mm -hmm. I didn't really care about that. Uh, it was just things I was doing, like you said, hula hoop, jump and roll, riding mm -hmm. my bike along the lakefront in Chicago. I didn't know that I was getting fit for mm -hmm. life. I was just doing things that I enjoyed. But when I started thinking about fitness for life, I was, I was, I would always do something. I started walking. I, that was my really lead into it. And I started power walking mm -hmm. and I would just go, go, go. And everywhere I went, I always found somewhere to walk. But then when I started going to the gym, I was intimidated because I saw, you know, these people working out, mostly guys at that time, mm -hmm. working out on machines. And I wanted to learn how to do that. So about 20, maybe 22 years ago, I got a personal trainer. And ever since then, I've been going to the gym. Mm -hmm. uh, I spent about a year with the trainer and I started going to the gym and it became something I always did. And I didn't know that I was inspiring other people. And I actually wound up being featured in an article about 1999, 1920 with a, uh, in a magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, God, what was the matter? I can't think of the name of it now, but it's in a magazine. And then I got featured in a, another magazine and it was all about fitness and people was, were inspired by that. Mm -hmm. So I would always just go to the gym. So about seven, eight years ago, I'm in the gym here in Atlanta and I'm bringing people from my church and I'm showing them, you know, well, you should do this and that. One of the young trainers said, 
you know what? You should be a trainer. We have a lot of people who are older who come here and you would be good as a trainer. And I'm like, really? And so my thing is always motivate and inspire people with workshops and seminars and everything. Mm -hmm. So it worked with what I was doing. So I got certified. And wow. uh, at the age of 65, what? I oh became my a certified personal trainer and uh, worked in the gym for a while and took COVID, went back to the gym until my mother-in-law got real sick. And then I started doing things, you know, online wow. uh, and, you know, working with uh, Motivate and Inspire Fitness, all of that in that realm, because I like people to think fitness. Mm -hmm. It's not just how you look, it's how you feel. Right, and exactly. that's how I actually yeah. got started. And, it, yeah. uh, you know, it just uh, is something that was needed. I saw a gap. Uh, so I became a trainer. But I myself, I always thought it was important to stay fit. Yeah. I looked at my life and I said, you know what? I saw what I didn't want to be when I got older. And I saw what I wanted to mm -hmm. be when I got older. And I just stayed on that track. Wow. I, I, well, something you just said um, sparked something. And I was watching a video a few minutes ago when I was waiting for us to get on. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the links you sent me, you, you talked about mind and balance. You were talking about balance. Mm -hmm. So how, right. like, in what you just said about, um, you mentioned that um, it's not about how you look, it's about how you feel. Yeah. How, how does that kind of go together and, and why is it so important? You know, I'm thinking about, when I think about balance, I think about as we age, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes our, our gait might be off if we're not taking care of ourselves, if we're not moving and we have any like knee injuries or hip injuries, you know, like over a period of time, um, mm -hmm. as we age, I'm thinking, just, just thinking about the body. So right. how, how does all of that kind of um, blend in with the mind-body balance? Because we know mindset is everything. So right. how, how would you, like over your period of time, still talking about you and your lifestyle, how, how, did, how do you feel like what you've done in your earlier years um, with the lifestyle and the fitness have helped you now at 71. I mean, you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and so I see the way you move and the dances that you do, you know, on, on Instagram and how you just inspire people with over 64,000 followers on Instagram. So what would you say about that, Sheila? Well, one of the things is I, I kind of touched on a little bit earlier. I said it was in my mind mm -hmm. that, you know, I, I figured out how I didn't want to be, mm -hmm. what some of the things I didn't want to, uh, have i mean you can't control something some things that just happen but what i do is i think about i can't have one without the other i have to have it all i have to be spiritually physically and mentally there mm -hmm. uh, because uh and i think that that's really the way we should think about it mm -hmm. it really helps us uh to to get focused on what our goals may be and you gotta think about self and I don't just mean self-care, but self-protection, self-confidence, self-awareness, all of those things that can elevate you to another level of thinking about yeah. your body. Mm -hmm. And so when I say it's not just how you look, it's how you feel. Because I have clients that come to, that, that have, you know, that I've worked with and said, you know what, the doctor said, whatever I'm doing, keep on doing it because now I don't have to take this medicine or he's reduced the dosage mm -hmm. or, or she has reduced the dosage. And those kind of things are how you feel. And those are some of the things that really matter as you age, because guess what? We all going to age yeah, definitely. and we are, we all going to change at some point, but we have to recognize that there are things that we need to do to our bodies like exercise eat right uh you know get get up and do some things you know and you don't have I always say don't, you don't have to walk a mile you can walk a block mm -hmm. because yeah. walking That's is right. free mm -hmm. you know and so uh those are some of the things that i tell people because i work because i'm also a corrective exercise specialist i've worked with people who have uh some uh diseases or have um knee surgeries hip mm -hmm. surgeries and all that now let me say it's got it's gotten a little bit better now with uh 
uh, surgeries in terms yeah. of knee mm-hmm. and hip. And hip yeah. And think, yeah, so that's got better. But then you have people who think at different levels. I've had people who have had um, knee surgery maybe 11 years ago, and they're still limping because mm-hmm. it's in their mind. They have that fear, mm. you know. And then I have people that maybe have had it a year and uh, a year uh, and they are like up walking. You know, I had a lady that had a goal. She came to me before the surgery and after, mm. you know, because she said, my goal is I'm not, I want to, I don't have to do what I used to do, but I want to at least walk three miles a day, mm. you know? And so she had that in her mind and it worked for her. So that's what I always try to get people to think. Not Don't just look at uh, Instagram or social media and, and say, okay, that's how I'm going to look. Look right. within yourself. Exactly, look yeah. within yourself. If you didn't mm-hmm. look like that before social media, you're not going to look like that after social media. You know, I'm because people are there for what they're in. For the most part, they're entertaining more so than anything. But there are people who are out there that who really truly want to. I'm realistic. I know that people who are in my age group most likely are not going to want to be jumping over tires and pulling you know they just want to be healthy right Mm -hmm. they they want to be healthy but if that if that becomes your goal fine but you have to get to that point first so it's a step-by-step process Mm -hmm. and i like to train people to start low and keep elevating yourself because that means that you'll stick and stay Mm -hmm. and that's what you don't want to just start you mm-hmm. want to stick and stay. Yeah. You know. So what what do you think about weight? Absolutely 100% important mm-hmm. because we are going to lose body mass. Our bones are going to get weaker. And we'll, weights really help to control that. Even if we already have osteoporosis or mm-hmm. osteopenia yeah. or whatever. I'm not saying go out and lift 20, 30, 40 exactly pounds. Right. Because yeah. what you want to do is you want to tone and you want to maintain. So that lifting weights, I absolutely suggest 100% unless your doctor says mm-hmm. don't lift weights. Yeah. But uh, I, w- I would say everyone, you can sit in the chair and lift weights. Yeah. You know, and you can so. even start with, you know, I've, I've even been on some um some uh classes where i even heard them say the trainers just start with a bottle of water yeah yeah a can of soup a bottle of water right so because if weight the thought of weight intimidates people yes then there are other ways you could you could do strength training with the strength bands and all exactly yeah so so Mm -hmm. it's a lot of ways you could train and that's why it's actually good to really be under a trainer at least for a while because you'll learn how to do certain things that work for your body Mm -hmm. i've had people that oh yeah i used to weigh i used to pick up 20 40 pounds i had a friend that went to the gym she decided doing 40 pounds that girl have not been back yet because that back exactly (laughs) yeah you can't so you got you can't can't just go in you know it's weights it's weight machines that i used to use i started working out in like my early 20s Mm-hmm. And this weight machines like the Smith machine at the gym. I mean, I used to live heavy on that machine. I go mm-hmm. in that machine now. I don't even the bar itself is so heavy. <laughs> right. I don't even yeah. you don't even need weights on it. So you don't need you weights know, on like, it. It's what forty five fifty. Pounds, yeah, exactly. You know? And I think mm-hmm. women. I've heard women. I've heard this all for years that women when they talk about weights, even younger women, they. They always think that it's gonna um, bulk them up too much. Sure. But if they're yeah. using smaller weights. I always say use smaller weights and more reps. Right. That way, you know, you can right. stay toned and you don't. You're mm-hmm. not gonna get that big bill. You just is not right. gonna happen. Yeah, always. yeah. You want to focus on time, unless that's your goal. Right. You know, I exactly. have friends that right. that's their goal weight training, mm-hmm. and I love it. You know, I'm proud of them. Uh, but you also, in order to get to that point, you mm-hmm. got to be dedicated two, three, four hours in the gym for a right. while. You know, after you get there, you don't have to spend that much time. Mm-hmm. But if that's your goal, mm-hmm. and we all, you know, you see people, you know, that's like that. If that's your goal, I think that's great. But I think that it's always been that kind of, it used to be, first of all, men only doing it. Right. Mm-hmm. And then you just get that, you that's not how you want to look thing. And you're not, you're just toning your body. And like I tell people, if you start early 
then when you get to my age, you just maintain it, you mm -hmm. know, really. And so start wherever. If you start at 70, that's great. But wherever you start, and I have clients that come to me that I live in an area where it's a lot of uh, close to the airport. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of flight attendants, pilots and all that. And they've been standing for 25, 30 years mm. on those planes. That is not good on your knees or, you know, so people, a lot of people just decided I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and I, I want to do better for myself, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And so, and that's where you want to be. That's where you want to start. If you move on to something else from there, that's good. But I want you to get, I want you to start, right. stick and stay. <laughs> so how would you recommend they get started on a, on a level that they can maintain and stick and stay, like you said? Well, first of all, I realized that we still have COVID going around. So a lot of people don't want to go to the gym. And I get that. Um, but I think that we have to get over our fear of using uh, the internet. Mm -hmm. like zoom and mm -hmm. i have so i have a 50 uh and over group on facebook and a lot of them don't like to do zoom and online training and things of that sort mm -hmm. uh, because of the fear so first of all you have to get over that fear and start yes. doing training online mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. start start by watching don't just watch other people and you eating potato chips and the, uh, you know but you have to start you know to break that chain because there is a chain. I, I'm telling you, I hate to sometimes see younger women. I'm sitting in the airport or whatever, and I'm thinking, what are they going to be like when they get older? I think the same thing. You know, yes. and, even and in I'm their twenties, the ones yeah, in their twenties. Yeah. Yes. And I'm th I'm thinking like, gosh, you know, and I want to go up to everybody and talk to them. <laughs> but but <laughs> my thing is, is that what's the alternative? Mm -hmm. You know, you may live long, but you're taking all kind of medicine and, you know, you're going to the doctor every week and all of that. So some of the things that we, some of the diseases we have, you know, diabetes, it can be controlled. So your alternative is like, uh, to, you're either not going to live long or you're going to live with a whole bunch of illnesses and pains and all of that. So what I tell people to do before they do anything is whether you have a journal or you get a sheet of paper or a pad and write down how you feel about yourself. What, what do you feel about yourself? Why do you want to do this? Mm -hmm. And keep writing. Mm -hmm. don't, don't say I'm just going to write a paragraph. Keep writing until you get it all out. Then go back and read it mm -hmm. and see for yourself okay so why do i want to do this do like one young lady told me a few years ago i want to live for my children you know so or i want to be able to walk down the street or walk down the stairs whatever it is be mm -hmm. honest with yourself and write it down if you have to do that for a week every morning when you get up just get that pad and start writing mm -hmm. and i guarantee you that will lead you into a place where you know okay it's time for me to it's time for me to do something and then you could seek out someone that you know that's walking every day mm -hmm. that's how i started walking I, I i saw a neighbor and i would see her getting up every morning and walking and one day i said you know what i want to walk with you tomorrow and that's like over 35 years ago 40 maybe even 40 Mm -hmm. And I've and I've been walking ever since then. So you know, you talk to someone about it. I have a ministry at church. Some of you may have a ministry at church. Talk to your pastor. Can we start a ministry because it mm -hmm. would help us to get you mm -hmm. know? So there are different avenues uh, that you could go to. Talk to someone. Uh, even if you see someone online that you like, send them a note. And I get notes. I get uh, messages all the time. When people are asking me how should how should they get started or mm. how can they do certain things, wow. so and I'm happy to answer them, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, because to me that's part of what I'm about. That's part of who I am. Mm -hmm. So just don't be afraid to step out. Mm -hmm. You know, don't get who's family little hammock. Get sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, and then I'm thinking about like I know I mentioned I mentioned earlier to walk a mile and you just said just walk a block. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just get walk started walking a block. Walk a block. Mm-hmm. Right. If you're in a and I, I know that I have a few people that are in wheelchairs. So I tell them to just move your leg up and down in the wheelchair. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, so um it's it's so many things that we could do. You just have to make up in your mind and it's gotta be it's gotta come from you. You know, your doctor can say you need to lose thirty pounds, but if it doesn't come from you, then it doesn't matter. And you have to be realistic. Mm-hmm. Your doctor say lose thirty pounds. That does not lose thirty pounds in thirty days. I, I'm just not with all of that. Right. Right. You know, uh, I think that if you take your time, you got to give your body a chance to catch up with your mind as well. So mm-hmm. if you lose in thirty pounds in thirty days and you're not exercising or working out, then what you're going to have, uh, some flesh, some hanging flesh somewhere. Right. <laughs> you know? yeah. So right. you got to be mm-hmm. realistic too. I know we kind of beat ourselves up sometimes about what we're eating. Like, mm-hmm. you know, people, oh, I can't have that piece of cake. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's just all in moderation. You know, how much yeah. you're going to, like, don't eat the whole cake or the half right. of the cake. You know, maybe yeah. eat a slice of cake. As we age, um, uh, it cha- our body changes mm-hmm. so our need for nutrition also changes we all need good in- nutrition but we're looking at okay our sleep patterns we're looking at uh, our physical you know for diseases and everything we're looking at stress we're looking at fatigue and all of those things so it's important that we have a healthy diet and i am like you i believe in moderation um and i think that there's so many different uh things that are going on now that people are getting involved with uh the different types of diets and things of that sort and i think we just need to just be realistic okay don't eat the whole pie eat a slice of pie (laughs) and don't bring it into the house and don't deprive yourself you know enjoy the holiday or if i'm on vacation i'm going to enjoy my vacation Mm -hmm. you know i'm not going to sit and say oh i can't eat that you know now i'm going to enjoy my vacation that's me somebody else may not be able to do that i know i have good metabolism so i'm no when i get home Mm -hmm. i'm going to go back you know what so yeah, yeah yeah but in terms of eating i think that we should know that we eat our fruits we eat our vegetables we got to have our macronutrients we got to have our proteins our carbohydrates and fat don't let fat the word fat scare you let it scare you if that's all you're eating this right but you do (laughs) you do need uh you know all of those things to really have healthy bodies and so i'm not going to tell people i people ask me what i eat and i tell them i eat a smoothie in the morning sometimes a light breakfast i eat lunch and dinner I love that three meals a day, or sometimes I eat four to six smaller meals. Mm -hmm. I love that because it's easy. I don't have Mm -hmm. to think about it. So I know that I'm going to have my fruits and vegetables. I know that I'm going to maybe do some proteins. I haven't eaten red meat or pork and all that in probably 40 years. Uh, But, you know, I know what I'm going to eat. You know, I already know. So you got to put, you got to have a pattern and you got to think about, all of those things that we like to do, uh, they come with eating right. And that's so hard because we're so hung up on large portions Mm -hmm. uh, because that's what they feed you. You go to a restaurant, you're gonna get large portions. Mm -hmm. My husband and I went to the movies uh, um, a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago or so. And we got, I always get the kid size popcorn. That's what I get. I get the little snack pack Mm -hmm. if I get some. But then I'm looking at everybody, they're getting the drinks, they got those big gallons. Of, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I can't. And I mean, it was every so night. I felt yes. bad with my little, you know. <laughs> but but um, but you gotta, you know, you gotta think of lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You gotta think of lifestyle. So I'm saying you might fall down, we fall down, but we get up. I fall down, but I get up. And uh eating is going to be one of your the main nutrition is going to be essential especially as you get older that's going mm-hmm. to be one of the main things that you're going to need to keep and you're going to be need to maintain and you're going to be controlling your portions and truthfully 
because our minds are set on certain meals and certain portions, we actually, as we age, don't even need as much food as we used to eat when we were young. Mm -hmm. We yeah. really don't. We really I don't. Feel, I feel like that now. I just turned 54 and I feel mm -hmm. like that. I just don't mm -hmm. like, you know, even at even at Thanksgiving, I, I start off. I used to start off like with a big plate. I start mm -hmm. off with a small plate. And if I want some more, then I'll get some more. Go back. But usually that plate that I have, it's enough because that food is so heavy. You know, right. mac and cheese dressing. By the time I eat that small plate, I don't want no more food until later. Right. And sometimes I don't even want any later. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and but you know how to control it mm -hmm. and because it's there doesn't mean we have to eat it all yeah that's <laughs> the <know>? thing <laughs> yeah so I have certain things that I like you know mm -hmm. but but I already know what my day my meals are going to look like I may not know exactly what it is but I know what they're going to look like every mm -hmm. day because I, I'm already there and now like you said I can't even eat as much as I used to and I'm full, mm -hmm. you know, and we don't, we really don't need as much food oh, as food. we did yeah. when we, we really when we don't. Younger. We really yeah, don't. So, yeah. So, so. What, do you, what do you think about, because there's so many out there, all those diets and stuff, like, you know, because yeah. to me, the when you say diet as opposed to just changing your eating and making it a lifestyle, it's mm -hmm. like your weight is going to keep doing this, fluctuating, because you're going to go on that diet for, what, 30 days? And then you're gonna get off, and then you're gonna start eating again. And then your weight is gonna go back up. It's just like a, a the tea, yoga, all yoga. the teas, yeah. all the teas, and I'm not a fan of um, those diets. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. tell you, I'm not a fan. Uh, I know there's some like keto and all yeah, that right. that really mm -hmm. help people so, and some things. And I know that there's the uh, intermittent diet, yeah. and um, a lot of people, you know, they're fans of it, and I'm not against it. I just wish I had a thought of it because <laughs> it, we eat intermittent anyway. Right. So if I eat seven o'clock, then don't eat again you know until... I don't eat again mm -hmm. anyway no, until wait, that's nine that's in the yeah. morning. You yeah. know. So I know that that's a little bit more deeper than what I just said. But I'm mm -hmm. saying if you think about it, that's how you eat anyway. No, You're exactly. just changing. Mm -hmm the time and you changing the length of time exactly. so yeah so i'm you, not so you, against that yeah, you yeah. know yeah but i am against like fat fast diets that say lose this amount of my weight in 30 days or 10 days and all that and it just and then i've seen diets i mean my husband brought one thing in here paid four hundred dollars for it it was all processed I said, I'm not, he said, you wow. can refer this to your clients. I said, no, I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, it's all processed, you know. You've been inspiring women for years and years, and now you're inspiring them even more in the fitness space. So what would you say to just inspire them and empower them to just get started? Well, look for, uh, thank you for that. But I would say that think about balance. We talked about balance earlier. But it's not just the fitness balance, it's balance of what you eat, balance of what you do, and balance of what you drink. Mm -hmm. So think about a life balance. You want to have a life balance. And the most important thing is to understand where you are, where you are in your life, where you are in your fitness, where you are in your journey. Understand where you want to go. And then seek out the people that will most likely be able to help you. It may be a next door neighbor. It may be signing up at the gym. It may be going online and working with someone like myself, uh, which I encourage you to do because I do one-on-one -on -one and then I'll do group sessions as well. So the main thing that you have to do is think about the connection between mind body and soul your spirit my my motto is the foundation of physical health is spiritual health mm -hmm. so think about you need to pull all of those three together and that will help you in your life it's not just one thing that you're doing is something that you want to live we want to have longevity we want to have a quality of life and it's not just about living. We want to have a quality of life. Mm -hmm. So think about your family. Think about your children. I think about my grandchildren. I just became a great grandmother. Oh, wow. And I want to see them 
you know, do things like get married and graduate and all that. So, you know, I don't know what God has in store for me, but I know that while I'm here, mm -hmm. I want to feel good about myself. And I want to be able to get on the floor and roll around with right. my grandchildren, <laughs> get out and play ball with them, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. you know, you know. Get out and dance. I love the dance. Right. I'm I not see, really I a great see. dancer. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I just love the move. Move uh -huh. with the spirit. That's what I always tell people. You move with the spirit. Get moving. Well, yeah. You know. Yeah, that's true. Get moving. That's mm -hmm. that's a mic drop right there. Get moving. Right. <laughs> Don't just move to move. Yeah. Go somewhere when you're moving. You right. Know? Yeah. So we might go from place to place. And don't go from place to place. Stay stationary. Until you get to the point where you're comfortable mm -hmm. with doing something on your own. Mm -hmm. You know, you may work out with me 30 days or you may work out with me for a year. I have clients that have been with me two or three years. Mm -hmm. But um, that's because it, it's inspiring for them to, to really uh, have some place where they could go. Because, you know, I'm always talking to you, too. I'm not just working you out. I'm trying to get you mentally prepared. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. that's that's huge right there. That's right. Like I think that's half of it. That's that's mm -hmm. half the battle. <laughs> that's, that is yes. half the battle. Yes. And, you know, we it's just uh, it's just a part of make it a part of your life. Mm -hmm. Make it a part of your lifestyle. Yeah. And don't just take it for granted that you know, okay, well, I'll do it one day or whatever. No, because yeah, you never That's, get started. You, mm -hmm. you know, just say this is a part of my daily. I get up every morning. I, I call it the WWW. I get up every morning. <laughs> I read the word. Mm -hmm. I drink water and I work out. Wow. Okay. I love so, that. So find your space. Find mm -hmm. your space, you know. And in reading the word, I'm also writing. Mm -hmm. uh, because I'm writing my thoughts back. So I'm motivated and Before inspired. Before you leave the house, yep. For the yep. 9 o'clock, exactly. my day, you know, yeah. or whatever time, you know, I get up. But that's, I'm good because I've done the most important things to get my yeah. day started. So how can they get in touch with you, Sheila? Well, you could go online. And I even got a TikTok page. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Sheila's Fit 50 Plus. Now, on those pages, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. I'm going to be doing uh, workouts, motivation. I might mm -hmm. be dancing or whatever. But the gist of it is to inspire people to get up and move, yeah. no matter what you do. Yeah. And, mo and mostly my Facebook page is geared toward the fitness and, uh, meal planning and mm -hmm. those type of things so that's mm -hmm. that's lifestyle fitness for active adults and that's a private group right yes yeah. that uh, is okay, cool. private yeah. right now okay. and i keep it private because sometimes people we talk we've talked anywhere from menopause to mm -hmm, right. you know different things so sometimes people are more comfortable mm -hmm. uh when they know that it's more private so yeah because they'll share know. yeah they'll, but they'll because share i actually have an open um Facebook page too for okay. anybody to look at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The most important thing that I uh, heard you say to me throughout this is when you were answering a question about how to get started is, mm -hmm. uh, I don't even think I would have said what you said about right, you know, writing mm -hmm. down why you want to do this. And I think mm -hmm. that is really important because it's working first with your mindset, like, you know, right. setting a goal, setting an intention that mm -hmm. this is what I want to do. This is why I want to do it. You know, maybe mm -hmm. putting on one side, you know, some things I think we need to take a look at our bodies. Right. And go on the mirror and look yeah, at it. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. And just get get used to doing that, even naked. Like, you right. know, not knowing. That's how you have to do it naked. Yeah, you have to. It's something at some point, it was something about your body that you liked at some point in your life. Yeah. And if you look in the mirror, and sometimes the mirror doesn't have to be a clear mirror. Sometimes it can be cracked because you need to see those cracks, you mm -hmm. know. And if you look in the mirror and you say, okay, I don't like this and this could be better. You know, you by yourself, you're looking at yourself. Don't be afraid to look at yourself and evaluate yourself. Mm -hmm. And what the some of the things that you don't like about it, you could change. Mm -hmm. Maybe some you can't, but at least that's a start. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. You know, and like I said, some of us have cracked mirrors. That's yeah. okay. Cause we see our faults. Mm -hmm.
So you have any lasting words you want to leave the, the ladies with? Yes, I want to tell you that as we age, there are some things we can't change. So learn to embrace who you are, embrace the aging experience, because sometimes we just have to deal with the light that's within us mm. so that we can shine. And if the light is shining within you, you don't have to worry about anything else. So embrace who you are, mm -hmm. embrace that you are growing older and but that is not the end of the world because if we let our light shine yeah that's we're so gonna true. glow we're gonna glow forever that's so true i heard yeah. this thing um this this video i listen to sometimes the girl ends it with this statement she said always go within so you never have to go without no yep, always yeah. in I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've seen a lady that i admire so much 95 years old and she would walk in the room and heads would turn. I mean, you were just like, you know, you just like mesmerized right. because that aura mm. was her light. Yeah, energy, yeah. And she had a cane. Cause some yeah. people, it was a nice one, but some people, you know, they can't deal with all those kind of things, but she would walk proudly with her cane. Mm -hmm. And everybody respected that about it because her light was shining. Mm -hmm. So don't let the light dim. That's what yeah. it is. Don't don't say can't, won't, too old, can't do this. I'm too fat. I'm too skinny. I'm too poor. Mm -hmm. There's always something you could do for you. Yeah, that's so true. Well, I want to say thank you for joining me today, Miss Sheila. I finally got like this is my first time actually. I comment on her stuff, you know, on her Instagram and follow her stories and her her movements. I'm like, look at her. <laughs> so it's so good finally meeting you in person or virtually. Thank wanna, you. It's so yeah. good. To, I'm glad we got together. Yeah, and, we've been trying. Um, we've been trying for a long it's time. Been a, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to tell people that it's never too late to start smart because I've got, I've had three, three or four careers in my, starting in my sixties. So it's never wow. too late to start smart. So did you guys enjoy this feature? I was really impressed with Ms. Sheila and her continuing at 71 to be a fitness inspiration to so many women across the globe and also a trainer in her gym in her local area where she lives in Atlanta. Share with us the daily routine that you have for your fitness goals every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you take a look at all the links posted below. And until the next time guys, take care, peace.